For many couples, the day they get engaged is the start of a long-lasting and memorable relationship. But for one local Lakeland couple, that happiness literally went right down the drain. Yeah, 21 years and a toilet. That's a strange combination, but a symbol of their love is now finally being returned to them. News Channel 8's Jack Royer has that story. At this house in Lakeland, the best gift under the Christmas tree this year turned out to be something they'd had for 20 years but couldn't find, a long-lost engagement ring. It was only when a plumber came out to replace a toilet that they found a diamond in the rough. Nick Day proposed to his wife Shana with a ring 21 years ago. But before they said, I do... She came to me one day and said, I think I lost my ring. Now it's gone. I think I may have flushed it down the toilet on accident. The couple searched for the missing jewelry, even getting down and dirty, looking for the diamond. I climbed down into the septic tank so we could pump it, every bit of it, through a strainer to try to find it. And no luck? No luck. Their love lasted even if the engagement ring did not. They replaced it, but always wondered where it ended up. Then last month, Nick's mom had a plumber replace her toilet during a bathroom remodel. And he said, do you think it's Shana's ring? And I looked at it again and I went, oh my God, yes. The plumber found the ring lodged inside the toilet, making for a gift <laughs> they thought they'd never see again. This is a Christmas present. Immediately it was, this is a Christmas present. Proving diamonds are forever, even if this one needed a good cleaning. So when we opened it up, both of, both of us... <laughs> knew exactly what it was. As I told my daughter earlier, that was kind of an ugly cry. I sat there and I was like, oh my gosh, this is my ring. This is my ring. A symbol of their love, thought to be long gone, turned out to be only a flush away. Check your toilets when you lose things. <laughs> So what happens to the ring now? Nick and Shana say they might incorporate it into another piece of jewelry or pass it down for a future generation to enjoy with a great story, too. And they assure me it's been thoroughly cleaned since this discovery was made. In Lakeland, Jack Royer, 8 on your side. What a story. I hope it's been cleaned. And I'm still stumped at how it got stuck there, though. I know. For 21 years. Yeah. They're very lucky they found it when they replaced the Great toilet. Christmas present, yeah. though, indeed.